everyone, welcome to my final play. We're here at Bruce Henry Park in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and I'm here with former collegiate tennis player Stephen Helminiak. Steve, thanks for joining me. No problem. So we're going to get into the sport of tennis, um, and I want to thank you because this is actually the first tennis player that we've had on the channel, so I'm glad that you're here um, and appreciate you joining me. Um, but let's, let's kind of get into the sport and how you got into the sport and what that looked like. So I started off playing tennis in high school. I think it was my sophomore year. Yeah. Uh, I didn't play. I played baseball beforehand, practically. But like a, everyone on my friend group there in high school, we all there wasn't a tennis team at Newman from when I went. So basically, they were recruiting people throughout the whole school. And my whole group was like, "Yeah, you know what? We'll play tennis." Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, I'll join them." I mean, it was something to do. <laughs> so I started off. I had no idea how to play. I was just blacking balls all over the place, moon balling everywhere, and they go popping up. I didn't play that much my first year. The second year, we had even less people, uh -huh. but I still joined. You know, I still like doing it. Yeah. Uh, didn't make it that far. I mostly played exhibition, but, you know, I still had fun just going away, getting out of class, you know what I mean? <laughs> that was the main reason I did it. So you went on then, and you played at a collegiate level, um, but as far as, you know, not getting even started until a sophomore, I mean, how much of it did you say, or would you say, that you just picked up naturally? I, I think about like 80% of it I picked up on my own. Yeah. Because like a lot of these kids, you know, all my teammates, they, they had parents that taught them, coaches that taught them even. Yeah. I just kind of like joined. It's like, you know, this is going to be fun. I just kind of whack it around, watching how people did it. Yeah. I kind of like analyze them maybe, you know, like, oh, so they're doing it this way. So I try to like practice in slow motion by myself. Yeah. So try to emulate then on your own. Yeah, I did. All right. Um, so at what point then did you think of you know, the opportunity that it would create to then play at the collegiate level? Honestly, I didn't think I was going to play the college level. Yeah. I just thought, you know, once I graduated high school, tennis was fun. I played on the side. But then I got to Penn College, uh -huh. and I saw that there was a tennis team. And they actually sent out an email. My, uh, I think it was my sophomore year there. They sent out an email looking for tennis players. They needed a lot more guys to play. Okay. So I was like, you know what? I'll email them back, you know what I mean. And then actually the first time I emailed him, I emailed him back like two weeks too late. Yeah. So I couldn't play that year. So I had to wait the <laughs> whole entire year to play and by that time they got a new coach okay it was actually uh, John Maycheck my former coach from high school he actually took over at Penn College so yeah. I was like wow this is actually kind of perfect <laughs> the only coach I've ever had so that's actually how I got playing he, you know he saw me he recognized me he's like wow okay yeah come on back yeah yeah awesome um so as far as the career that you had though uh, at Penn College uh, explain a little bit you know what that looked like and some of the accomplishments that you had there yeah so my uh I joined I think Sophomore year, Penn College. Uh, I started off, I think, in the spring semester. It split off between fall and spring. Half the season, fall, half the season, spring. So when I joined in the spring, I already had the lineup for that year done. So I just kind of sat on the side. I was watching the kids play. You know, came to all the matches, got out of class. You know, I was picking stuff up though. Yeah. Because I wanted, I wanted to play. You know, it's not enough. Like in high school, I did it just, you know, have fun. But yeah. when I joined at Penn College, I actually really wanted. Right. So I began practicing on my own a little bit, and I knew I was never going to play the first year, but by the second year I rolled around, I think I actually had a shot. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, and what did that look like then when you when you had the opportunity, um, and to what extent were you able to uh, you know make some accomplishments along the way? So I think it was in the fall um, of my I think junior year it had to be then. Yeah. So. Their exhibition matches, they don't count. So my coach, he put me in, he's like, okay, go ahead, we're gonna see what you can do. Yeah. So I was just hitting around, I was like, wow, I'm, I'm actually a little bit more better than I was, but I still wasn't, you know, I still couldn't hit my backhand. Yeah. Ever since I started playing, no one taught me how to hit a backhand, I didn't ask for help, that's probably my fault. But yeah, I, every time I hit it, it would just pop up. So that's probably why I didn't play for a little bit. During the fall, I kind of managed to get it inside the court a little bit, and you know, coach, he was impressed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so he was happy about that. And, uh, but I wasn't playing how I thought I could. Right. You know, I was like, I can get a lot better than this. Yeah. So once the fall was over, I went down to the local tennis club. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, I'll, I'll go in there like one night, whatever. I'll try to practice. So I was just hitting balls. I was trying to figure out on my own. I didn't care if it was the proper technique or not. Yeah. I just wanted to get the ball across the net how I wanted it to. And uh, by the time March practice came around, I, yeah, March practice came around. First practice, I get in there. We're hitting backhands, and I don't know how it happened, but like I did the perfect slice, I went right in. Yeah. I kept doing it. I was kind of amazed at myself, really. 
And after that point, I think like once I can get my forehand and my backhand in, mm -hmm. I felt like I actually actually could compete. Right. Instead of just it all started to click. It did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what would you say would be the number one factor then of all of those things coming together? The number one factor would probably be like the work I did outside practice. Yeah. We had practice every day, but. I figured, well, I'm not gonna get any better. Yeah. I played for a whole year, and I practiced every day, and I kind of plateaued. So, I practiced over the summer. Mm -hmm. I was hitting balls, I was trying to serve. I was watching videos, you know. I, I didn't have a lot of money to go out and hire like a coach, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're kind of expensive, so. But, I actually learned a little bit, and I figured out if I just practice more every day, and do the same routine every day, right. it would work out. Yep. So, by the spring of last year, my junior year, I was actually playing at the number six spot yeah. every day. Um, and then as far as um, you know, at the end of your junior year, yeah. you and um, a partner ended up competing at uh, the NCAA level and ended up doing pretty successful as well. We did. So my doubles partner, Ethan Rossler, he's a, he's like a bear basically. He's like six foot three, big bushy beard. And uh, he would play the net and I would play the back. I'd scramble around, get everything for him. and he. I'd set them up. I'd yeah. make sure no ball would get out, and by the time they were done, you know, messing with me, yeah. they'd hit it to him, and he would just kill shot. <laughs> so we worked out for the whole season. Once we got that pairing in, yeah. we actually won every game. Oh wow! It, it wasn't easy though, yeah, because I was still learning how to play. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we made it all the way to the playoffs, and I didn't expect to win. I was just happy to make it. Yeah. All right. So, and in the final game, it was probably the most competitive game I played up to that point. Yeah. But eventually we did win it, and I, I don't even know how. Ethan picked me up, grabbed me like this, chucked me about three feet in the air. <laughs> this is probably one of the happiest times I had playing tennis. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and then you won gold then. I did, and I actually won gold singles in the same year. Okay. So I was number six singles for that. And that was, I think, after that was after I won the doubles at that point. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I got one gold, I'm set. I don't need to win anything more. But I, I won my first game. I was like, wow, okay, I got like third place I'm good and then I won my second game I was like all right this is getting better I might be able to actually win yeah and then by the final game I found this kid we were equal level yeah. okay like par on par like my strategy like since I was never officially taught how to play I would just run around scramble I use my 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 legs right here yeah like I I should have played track is really what I should have done because <laughs> I always just I zoom around I annoy people so much getting everything so that's what I did. I, I ran around, I, I hit everything back. But yeah. this kid, he would power shot everything. Okay. So we were kind of like opposites, but mm -hmm. that was the most competitive match I've ever played in my life. It went down, I think it was like two and a half hours. It was a grudge match. I'd win a game, he'd win a game. I'd win a game and go back and forth. His serve would caught, catch me off guard, but I'd, I'd throw a curve serve in there. And after we were all done, it was the, down to the last game. And at that point, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't nervous at all. I was just in the zone, you know? Yeah. I wasn't thinking about the game. I was right. just trying to win. Just doing what you do. But then there's like two points left. Uh -huh. I was like, man, I could actually win this. <laughs> yeah. I started getting a little shaky there. I was like, all right, just calm down. Just calm down. Because it was his serve. Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, I have no power in this. I just have to return. Right. Exactly. And I did. And the last one I hit, on the last shot, I was, I don't even know. He just dropped his racket. And I was just like, I can't believe it. I didn't expect to get that far. Yeah. Having just picked up tennis like five years earlier. Right. And just started playing that semester, like on the roster. I didn't think I'd win gold, but I did. Unreal. Um, so, I mean, as far as then, you know, your next season, uh, your senior year, uh, and let's talk about, you know, the final play. Uh, leading up to that match, uh, you it was also a final play in the doubles tournament, correct? It was. Yeah. Um, and so there was kind of was the thought that crossed your mind of, you know, if we're out, then we're done? and Or did that kind of not hit you until maybe after that? I was trying to push it out of my mind, honestly, because yeah. I knew deep down it was the last one, but I just wanted to play with my partner one last time. Right. So I figured, you know, I won last year, we can take it this year. Yeah. Yeah. It was a new partner, though, so, you know, I was a little kind of sketchy about it. But. Yeah. So we got into that match, and we played these guys earlier in the season, you know. I think we, I think we beat them. So I was like, okay, we'll get these guys. We can at least get second place. I wanted to rematch these uh, two twin brothers that we played early in the semester. Okay. They were the actually number one doubles team to beat. Okay. So I wanted to get a rematch at them because we lost about, I think, only two games in. We, we could have had them, really. Yeah. So it was our first game, so I was kind of disappointed about that one. So I was thinking I wasn't even worried about this match. I was worried about the rematch going later on right. in the playoffs. 
So we get in there and we start losing the first couple and I'm like, you know what, it's been a few days since we practiced, we, you know, with finals and all. Yeah. It's like, okay, we'll get our group back, but we never did actually take the lead in that one. We, we started coming back a little bit. We, we made it very competitive there, mm -hmm. but at the end, we just, I don't think we could pull it out. And it's kind of heartbreaking there at the end, knowing that like, this was it. I, I did so well last year, but this year it's just, we couldn't make it. Right. Um, and you know, you kind of talked about it. It's heartbreaking, but yeah. you know, explain a little bit more into that as far as the emotion, um, being that it's your final play. Was it something that as soon as you were done, was, is that when the emotion hit or, and you know, or was it something that kind of, did it take some time after that? So after the final play that happened there, we got to do an exhibition match. Okay. Everyone got to play at least two matches. So I was disappointed, but I was like, well, if we win the next match, we won't get last place. So. Yeah. But we actually ended up losing that one somehow. Like I think we were just like we were just so blindsided by that loss before we just couldn't focus. Yeah. And after that one, that's when it kind of hit me. It's like wow, this, this is it. I, I'm done. Yeah. I went upstairs. There's a viewing gallery up above all this, uh, the matches. There's like you can look on each side. Okay. So I was looking down at all my teammates playing. I was like, wow, that's it. Yeah. It's kind of done. Huh. Yeah. So definitely a flood of emotions. It's kind of you're realizing that, yeah. that this is. This is where the, the sport of tennis ends for you. Yeah, I wish it would have went down on a better note, but I mean, what can you do? Yeah. So. Um, well, I mean, the other question that I would have to you is, uh, you know, in regards to your identity, uh, as you're playing tennis, um, what was your identity like as a player? And then afterwards, when that ended, you know, how was that transition? So I was pretty proud to be, to be on the tennis team, obviously. I, yeah. I got all the shirts, whatever. Yeah. I wear them to class, you know, because I liked being on the tennis team. Right. When I was playing, when I started playing in my junior year, that's when I started wearing more stuff outside class. <laughs> I was actually proud of it, you know what I mean? I yeah. was like, yeah, I won gold with that. Yeah, it's on the <laughs> tennis team. So, you know, uh, we had like a group chat. We'd always text with each, with each other. So, you know, we were pretty close. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of happy to be on the team. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's that transition look like then uh, after the game? So after it's all done, I mean, I, I talked to my one buddy on yeah. the tennis team now, but most of us kind of just on different ways at this point. Right. As far as the sport of tennis though, what would you say would be the number one thing that the sport has taught you overall? I think like dedication. Yeah. Yeah, because back when I was a little kid, I used to think that like if you wanted to play a sport, you just showed up, you played the game, you went to practice a couple days a week and you know you're set. Yeah. But when I got to the college, I realized that if you wanted to play, you can't just show up to the mandatory practices. Right. You can't just show up and just play the game. Yeah. I was like, I need actually need to put in a lot of more effort. Yeah. And that's when I actually clicked. Right. Okay. That's when I actually started practicing outside. I went the entire summer I practiced my serve so it would just go in. Yeah. So that that's when I realized that I actually need to, you know, put a lot more effort in this. I need to actually try. Right. Yeah. Dedication is definitely something I think all sports can talk or can teach. Um, and I definitely think that it's it's something that we can apply in, in anything, um, whether it be sports or after. Um, so I definitely appreciate that. You know, I hope everyone enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe below. So whatever it is that you do today, approach it with the mindset of, is this my final play? Thanks again.